So, I'm literally the last person to be checking out this update. Though it is absolutely not my fault because <laughs> There's a whole backstory to the situation. Essentially the Cyber Ninja patch broke the whole correlation between Virtual Desktop and Zenith. And the developers, if they tried or not, like at this point I don't really care. They did not solve the issue to this day, even though they mentioned that in the patch notes. I pretty much had to go to their Discord to reach out to other users that are more <laughs> competent than people working on this game. But even then, every single patch they will introduce, I to copy some certain files to not have this green screen of death appearing. It's just annoying and at this point I could really care less about this project but I'm curious about the patch anyways and let's try to keep it positive. <laughs> So the big focus is on the new class and apparently the new area though we'll see how we'll go with the time because of the talking now and stuff. It is like the biggest patch since release so I'm curious what is it about. Cyber Ninja currently can be only a DPS. Okay well I guess in the future we'll have other options. Uh, we're starting from the academy like the new training course. So let's just see the basic mechanics and then I'll try to get into the Skyland or whatever. Make your way over to the training circle. Let's get started. I'll be with you every step of the way. <laughs> She's creepy as ever. Oh. <laughs> it is a different circle for every class? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So he has a bow with an indicator and a charging shot. Okay. Just like in the cadence or however it was called. Ammo is limited, where? Oh yeah. Refuse over time by attacking with the cam. It just seems like he'll be more masked out the gameplay. Oh. That's interesting. You can just easily switch in combat and stuff. Alright, you see those targets? Knock him out. Really let him have it. What's the damage difference though? It's like double, but there's like an after effect. I mean, the bomb mechanics aren't crazy. Unless it's kind of like getting used to the actual position where you can draw. But like, you can't wrap it shut. Then you just recharge. Okay, I get it. I don't have much time. Listen carefully, kid. We are under attack from an exiled army. I can guide you out of there, but whatever you do, do not engage. This isn't hologram training. 
This is life and death. Just follow my lead and do exactly as I say. Got it? This was also changed, like they kind of fast forward the tutorial. Because there were other sections. What the hell? Adept, can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. Listen very carefully. Don't move. Find some cover and stay put. Help is on the way. Oh, you thought I wasn't going to find you, didn't you? That's what all the other little ones thought too. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, man. Please, please think of the truth. <laughs> Damn it, kid. I told you to keep moving. Run. What the hell is happening? <laughs> No voice of okay. This is the new thing. We have the godforsaken climbing area. What's happening to performance? Hello? Also, the textures are shit. What? And we're on PCVR. I mean, from far away it looks nice, but not from the close-up. <laughs> it's just the terrain here, but like the buildings are fine. Oh my god, there's so many icons nowadays. Oh yeah, later we'll have to do the keystones. Or now, I guess. <laughs> we have a ninja run. So a dash, kama cadence, arrows. Not a lot of slots, actually. Which is interesting. Over here, agent. Greetings, agent. Okay. You're the right agent for the job. Ready to work? Yes. <laughs> The crafting stations have like holograms now? What the? Oh, it's probably a pet capture. Build crop planters. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Then I just don't get why we have like oversimplified textures because the other areas, also the <laughs> drops, they look better but this is more like bland. The buildings are fine, not the stones, not the terrain. And not the music source, <laughs> like uh, it's not as polished as the other parts of the game, I feel like. Though it's still new, so... I don't know. Let's see, like, how it really works in combat. Did they break or something? It's annoying to me, like, there is no area 
that the bow can be drawn is just a very specific point. It's just weird to me because I'm an archer, so I don't necessarily get the idea. The fast one isn't as bad, like, because the charging one was the profit from it, I guess. More damage in less arrows, but... Also, something's going on here. That might be new weak points. I like the switching though. The damn disappearing hands, I swear. I mean, it does a lot of damage. I guess because I'm not used to play as a DPS. But I think this is the new combat they mentioned. Wait, what was the mission? Crash point. So I guess I just hit the points. Definitely way more efficient. Jesus. I wish there would be weak points when you shoot as well. That would be cool with a precision mechanic. There's so much going on. And that's all the time. Classically, like with Zin, if you have to have so much spare moments of the day to grasp what's going on. But essentially I get it. In terms of the class, the dynamic is kind of interesting because it's both ranged and melee. You can just change it in the heat of a battle and like use its mechanics to your advantage. I'm not sure about the area. It seems kind of bland. So I don't know if I have a higher standard for Zinif nowadays. Also, there are some performance drops. What was that even? <laughs> I was flying and just shooting. 
It is not the most advanced archery I've seen, though it is something different with recharging the arrows when you switch and then do something. <laughs> I just wish the whole area where you can pull the string would be enlarged to make it more dynamic because it's not. It's kind of like Zenith has its own pace that you can't really go outside of it. Besides that, I think that's pretty much it. Like, the tutorial was very much shortened as well, so I was able to enter this space. I'm just annoyed at the whole situation with the files and the virtual desktop. Like, it's just too much to do beforehand to even play the game. So nowadays I don't really care about Zenith. It is nice that it's finally expanding with new classes and new stuff to do. Is it too late? It's never too late. But I hope you get the idea what's the primary issue here. <laughs>